lovelies! So I am here today for a massive makeup haul. Um, I'm going to try to be as fast as I can with everything. I'm going to try not to waffle on about things. I'm just going to show you what it looks like and move on if I can because I tend to just not shut up. Um, I haven't shaved off all my hair by the way. It's just up right now but I realize on here it might look like I've just went like did a Britney. So I have a ton of stuff here from a ton of different brands. I'm going to try to move through it through like you know face, lips, eyes, like I'm gonna try to keep things in categories. Hopefully I've organized it all somewhat. I'll put a picture up of what I'm dealing with beside me right now. And um, also I just kind of feel the need to mention because when I posted this on Instagram a while ago, I wasn't even planning on doing a haul, but then everyone was like, haul? And I was like, fuck. So, um, but yeah, whenever I posted this, there were a lot of, um, there was only one person I saw who got like really, really snarky that I posted a picture of my makeup and basically accused me of like destroying the goth scene. Like I'm the problem with everything. Like it's makeup line up. Uh, but there's like a lot of things about like how much money I'd spent on it and all this. So I just want to clarify it. This was actually all gifted to me and it's not like someone went out and spent money and bought all this, you know, to give to me. It was a friend of mine had a huge, huge, huge collection of stuff that she bought and never really used and she was doing a huge clear out and it was going to go in the bin or else it was going to go to me. So obviously <laughs> it's gone to me. Um, yeah, like I shouldn't really have to do disclaimers, but people do get funny about that sort of thing and like all the sort of like debating about money that I'd spend. So it's like, it's very uncomfortable. Like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna start. So the first sort of lot of things I'm gonna grab is a whole bunch of setting spray. There's actually another one of these little gray ones, but it's already in my bag because it's super handy to have. And I'm so glad I got this because I lost my bottle of um, this one because I typically use the gray one the most. It's the D Slick one. So if you have like oily skin, it's really good. It's from Urban Decay. So it's the D Slick makeup setting spray. I use tons of it. Like if I'm going to be going out all day or if I know it's going to be really hot, I'm going to be sweating. I like put a layer of this after like each step of makeup. Seriously, it's like foundation setting spray, powder, setting spray, like it just, I use a lot. And I lost my bottle, so now I have a whole bunch. So I have the D Slick and I have the All Nighter. I don't really know what the huge difference is, I just know the D Slick is meant to be good for oily skin, so I've been using that more, but I'm gonna be getting through all of these eventually. Next up in a similar vein, I have a whole ton of Urban Decay Primer Potions, um, pour, for, bleh, pore Perfecting Complexion Primer Potion. And then I have one eyeshadow primer potion that's the anti-aging one. So there's a whole bunch of these, always good to have. I have to, I think these are both the same thing, but one's in a box and one's not. And this is the Urban Decay D-Slick Mattifying Powder, which again, always good to have anything that's going to mattify because I get so oily like around my nose and on my forehead. Since I was talking about primers, I have a Kat Von D high voltage eye primer here. I'm not sort of like swatching these things because it's not really things you're gonna see anyway. So, you know, like anything to see through, there's not much point. But yeah, I've heard this is good. So I'm excited to give it a go. Oh my goodness. And this is what it looks like out of the box. Just a cute little bat black tube. All this great packaging of the Kat Von D stuff. Very much appreciated. And then I think the last thing in like skin area is this Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. And this is like one of their sort of thinner formulas because they have, I think that the one that I used to use from Illamasqua was like the rich liquid foundation, but that was just too thick. It was like, like just smothering icing on your face. It was too much for me. Uh, this one is in pure white, I think. So I won't be using this on its own because I do prefer to just sort of be my own natural paleness with like maybe it enhanced a little, but I will show you what this looks like. I'll be mixing this in with my other foundations to sort of achieve the right shade. But if you can see, hmm. Gonna be a problem. There we go. So yeah, it's like pure white, and it's so so handy for mixing in. Ooh, yeah, it's really really handy for mixing in with other foundations. I hope I brought the makeup wipes up because I'm gonna need them. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of swatching. Uh, but yeah, so this is gonna be great to have because I've ran out of all my little tester tubes. I think so. Okay, so I think after that we are going to move on to highlighters, and I have a whole bunch of highlighters, which makes me happy because I. I'm definitely one of those Instagram whores <laughs> who is just all about the highlighters. Um, so, so the first thing that I was super, super excited about that I cannot wait to use, I haven't tried it yet because I'm thinking of using it in a full face of first impressions video because you guys really liked it when I did that. And that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child, bleh, Moon Child Highlighting Palette. So look how pretty the packaging is. It's so freaking cute. <gasps> I think this is like their, you know, otherworldly girl <laughs> highlighting palette essentially. Oh my goodness, everything's just shooting around. So this is what it looks like from afar. So there's one that's like white with like a blue sort of iridescent sheen. 
one that's kind of white with like a pink iridescent sheen, so that's blue eyes, pink heart. There's one that's essentially just silver called Star, which is super cute. There is a white with like green iridescent that is like, um, it's called Lucky Clover. I think a lot of things in this, like at least those three, remind me a lot of the Kat Von D Alchemist palette thing. It's like very similar colours from what I've seen. And on the end there is Blue Moon and Purple Horseshoe, which you can kind of guess by the names of those colours. So yeah, I'm definitely like a huge fan of wearing kind of like weird coloured highlighters that make me look like a fairy or something. So this made me really happy. I am so excited to use this. Next up, something that was super exciting is a whole ton of Jeffree Star highlighters, which makes me so happy. Although it's like hurting me a little bit now because um, the only one I had before this was Ice Cold. I always had the Ice Cold Jeffree Star highlighter and I loved it. And then on the way up the stairs today to get ready to do this video, I was carrying a whole bunch of my makeup and it fell. And I've dropped it a few times, it's been quite sturdy, but this time it took a bad, bad fall down the stairs. Even the plastic on it broke. And my highlighter is no more and my heart hurts, but these ones are joining the family to make up for it. So in no particular order, I'm just gonna dive into these. I'm not even gonna look at the backs of them. I'm gonna be surprised by what I've, I've seen them like, but I don't know what order I'm opening them in. They're bloody hard to open sometimes. Here we go. <laughs> so the first one that I've opened is the infamous, what's it called? Um, Onyx Ice, Onyx Ice. Uh, that is the black highlighter that everyone like went batshit crazy over um, in a bad way. Everyone's going nuts. I'm like, I get it, you know, like black isn't really a highlighter color, but you know, it's something fun. And at the end of the day, I now have infinite shiny black eyeshadow that I will never ever run out of, so I'm quite happy with it. I, I won't be using it to highlight my face because that doesn't make sense. I also won't be using it to contour because it's shiny. I've seen some people like, oh, you can contour with it. I'm like, it's shiny though. <laughs> that won't work. But you know, it'd be good to play around with and like, you know, there's different sort of like fancier makeup things you could do with it, but it's definitely not an everyday highlight, but you know, I feel like people kind of overreacted. If you don't like it, just don't buy it. Next, we're going to open another one. Jeffrey, please. <laughs> oh, I guess it's better that it doesn't just pop open. There oh, we go. Ooh, ooh. So the next one I've opened up is another one that weirdly everyone kind of got really mad about, which I was much more surprised by because I think it's cool. And that's Regina George. I'm so happy to have this. Like the second this was released, I was like, <gasps> I need it because <laughs> it's just so obnoxiously pink. And I mean, oh, I didn't swatch. Hold on. So this is it on the finger. That's the obviously not Regina George. That's the black one. Um. I'm sorry for giving you the finger. So that is the crazy black highlight. Now right, we're gonna go in with Regina George here. Which, like I said, I don't know why everyone's so mad about this one, because I can totally see this being like a highlighter over like intense blush. Yes. Aha! So this one is called Deep Freeze. And again, it's not a conventional highlighter color. You know, you're not gonna use this every day, but I can so see using this on some like really cool, like snow queen, like frozen, like icy looks. And I'm definitely going to use that at some point for something along those lines because it is a really pretty color. So we'll just go in here and fling flying my hand around. Whoa, check it out. So yeah, and again, like, you know, all of these can definitely be used as eyeshadows as well. So you've got like, I think that'd be really handy for like makeup artists if they just want like a lot of eyeshadow they'll never run out of, you know. But um, yeah, you can use these however you want. So at the end of the day, there's really no need to be mad about someone releasing a weird colored highlighter because you don't have to buy it. Also, can I just say this video like is about makeup and not what you feel about people behind the makeup because I have a few different brands here and like, you know, people have drama behind them. That's not what this is about. This is just about makeup, please. Go leave hate about people somewhere else if you're gonna do it because I just want to enjoy my makeup. This is Princess Cut and oh my god I was so excited to get this. I wanted this so badly. I was actually about to buy it and then I ended up with it and I was like I'm glad I didn't buy it now because I can't imagine I'll ever run out of these. There's, there's just so much and it's just this pretty pretty pale pink and this is definitely much more of like an everyday one and I love it. So let me just go in and get a little, little swatch. It's obviously not going to be as obvious because, it's, oh god, that was a janky one, because it's a very light color. Yeah, I screwed that up. You can't, it doesn't help that I'm so pale. You can see it in real life, but let me try surf swatching it. Here. And then... You might see it in the close-ups. <laughs> yeah, it's super, super pretty. It's definitely more of an everyday one. It's just a really, really, really pale pink. I actually kind of like this one better than Ice Cold because I feel like it's just nicer on my skin, so yeah. Next up is Mint Condition, which is another one of the weird ones, but you know, that's fun. And it's just a really pale sort of green. Bam. Haha. 
Look how cute! That's such a nice color. Love it! And then that makes the last one that I have here, Lavender Snow, which I was really excited to get. I think it's really pretty. I was really excited to try mixing this with Ice Cold. <sighs> Died. Uh, but yeah, it's like a really pretty like silvery pale purple. I can kind of get away with using this on an everyday basis because I am so pale. It doesn't look super like robotic or anything unless I like, you know, were to really layer it up. So I actually did wear this out the other day and it worked just fine, really. Um, super, super pretty. I love the color. Let me see if I can... <laughs> That's so awkward. Did I just do that over the top of the princess cut? I probably did. You can see there, that's like shiny. Um, I did kind of ruin princess cut, but there's another princess cut swatch, so it's fine. But yeah, like just, I love weird, interesting highlighters and there's a whole bunch of them there, so I am pleased. So here we go. So like lavender snow is up here. Princess cut is kind of on my wrist there. And then you can kind of guess the rest of the colors. Pigmented as hell, super pretty, super shiny. I am so excited to play with them. I cannot wait to do like a really obnoxiously pink look so I can use Regina George because I am all about that. Next up, there are two Becca highlighters here. One I am going to be using a ton and I think I'm wearing it today. One I'm probably not gonna be wearing as much but I'm going to try to find a use for, maybe in like a certain themed look or something. So the one that I'm not really gonna be using that much and you'll see why is, what's this called? Rose Gold. So this is the Becca Cosmetics Rose Gold Highlighter. And I feel like on someone with a tan, this would be really, really pretty. I kind of want to like, put this on my mum because like my mother and I don't even look like the same race. But yeah, she's super, super tan. So I wonder if this would be nice on her. So I kind of want to try putting some of it on her. And then the one that I'm going to be using a ton that I was super excited about is this one. This is in the color Pearl and it is pretty much just white. Maybe like a hint of like vanilla. So like a, a you know, little bit of a warmish white, but it is basically white and it's so pretty. It's like a really, really fine, fine, fine shimmer, so it doesn't have any glitter or anything in it. I don't know how well you can see it on me today, but um, it is really, really pretty. Okay, still getting through the highlighters. Uh, this one is the Merry Luminizer from The Balm. Uh, the Balm, The Balm. I feel like no matter what way I say that word, people make fun of me. Uh, but this is the Merry Luminizer, Merry Luminizer. And I think I used this, I think it was this one, whenever me and Melanie did our style swap and uh, I used her highlighter, I think it was this one, and I remember being like really impressed. I put it on and I was like, whoa, what is this? Um, I haven't tried it with my like own makeup, so I'll have to see if it works, because it's like, it's like a warm skin, to, well, not I mean, skin tone, that's stupid to say, I'm sorry. Uh, what like pale white person, you know what I mean, <laughs> I'm trying. Um, so it might be a little too sort of warm for me, because I'm like, you know, I tend to be white, 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 but I think it might work out okay, so I'm gonna try it. And then the other one is the Cindy Luminizer, and that one, I don't even know if I've checked. Ah, yeah, that one's like more of like a peachy color, so I think that would kind of work well over blush. But yeah, it's the same idea. It's like a peachy, like, not bronzy, but like a corally sort of colored highlight. Next up are two from Medusa's Makeup. One is a body shimmer, and one's a highlighter. So, so this is the body shimmer, and it is, in real life, it looks like kind of like pink and white mixed together. Let me see if we can get a better look. I don't know how well you can see that because obviously it is a highlighter so it's reflecting back all the light but hopefully, hopefully you go look at that. And then the other one is, oh what was it called? Body Shimmer in Healthy. And then the Medusa's Makeup Highlighter is in the shade of Moonlight and it looks like this. So again it's that sort of like warm, like warm white essentially. So it has like a hint of warmth but it's generally just white and it looks, it almost looks a little, not green, but in that realm, but generally it's white and it looks really cute. I'm really excited to use this because I've never tried Medusa's makeup before. Oh yeah, it's all the highlighters. Uh, we'll move on to lips then. So the first thing I have is five of the Jeffree Star Floor Lip Scrubs. And the flavors I have are, I don't really need to show them because I'll show you one and then you can get the gist. You know, they're all just sugar and then their color is kind of coordinated to the flavor. You can guess. Um, oh. So the, the flavors that I have are pumpkin spice latte and it's, oh my god, I just got a huge whiff of it there and it was amazing. It definitely has that like super, like it's just that Halloween-y smell. Love this. I have the root beer one, which I really, really like. I don't think we have root beer in this country, but if it tastes like this, then I really want to try it because that was like super nice. And this has convinced me more than ever that the, like, the black Jeffree Star lipstick that I have is not scented like root beer. Everyone kept trying to tell me it smells like root beer and I'm like, if that's what root beer is, why does anyone drink it? It does not smell like root beer. I don't know maybe if the one I have is like older and they've reformulated with root beer scent or what. All I know is the one I have is not root beer scented, but this is and just, 
Mmm, I don't know like what it makes me think of, but it just smells so freaking good. I have one that is spearmint flavor, which is very nice. It just, it's you know, like mints, chewing gum, toothpaste, that kind of realm, but it's nice and fresh. In a similar vein, I have the mojito scented one. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, I love mojito scented things. I love mojito flavored things. I love finding places that do like non-alcoholic mojitos because I'm not really much of a drinker. Like it's not like I never drink. I wouldn't claim that. I do occasionally, but almost never. And um, I just like the taste, like the minty, citrusy. Mm. So yeah, if I can find somewhere that does like virgin mojitos, I am sorted. And then the last one is just a little strawberry one. Pretty basic, really yummy smelling. Good. I'm about to get in to the huge pile of Kat Von D lipsticks here. Pray for me. Okay, so I'm gonna start in with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I think that's what they're called. You know, her ones. Um, I'm not doing this in any order of shades. I'm just picking them up, up out of the pile and off we go. So this is the shade Noble. And I'll just, ooh. I am probably gonna forget to swatch some of these on camera, but I will try to remember. So that there is Noble, and I'll be doing close-ups of all of these in a moment, so once they've dried down a bit, rather than kind of go in, in and out, in and out. Um, and I will point out what is what. After Noble, we have Aisha, I think that's how it's pronounced, and it is like a pretty, pretty sort of medium to light purple, which is gonna go right here. It's really hard to like swatch these on camera without being able to see it myself. Next up is Underage Red, which I remember people being really mad about uh, the name, but whatever. Uh, down here that's gonna go. Next up is Bauhaus, which is like a pinky purple kind of color, like hot pink purple magenta-ish shade. And that's going to go over here next to Noble. Next up is Bow and Arrow, and this reminds me a lot of my NYX um, lip lingerie in the color Corset. It's very, very similar, so if you're looking for a dupe of this, that NYX one is quite good. And it is like a pretty sort of medium brownish grayish color, so it's like, you know, grayish brown, mostly brown, but it is really, really pretty. Next up is Suspiria, which again is like a kind of purpley pink. It's kind of like in the same family as Bauhaus, but not nearly as bright. Oh, and that's going to go just here. So it's like much more of a sort of muted tone. The next color we have is Outlaw, which is like a super pretty, really bright red, which I love. I do love me and my reds. And that's going right there. Next up we have Jeffrey. That's awkward. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right under here. And that is like a super pretty, like bright, bright, pinky, corally, kind of color. It's not kind of the color I would typically wear, but I'm excited to try to make it work. Next up is Santa Sangri. Sangre? Sangre? I don't speak Spanish, I'm sorry. Um, Santa Sangri. Sangre? Sangre? And it is another really, really pretty red. I'd say in comparison to, what was that up there? Outlaw, I think? Um, it's like slightly warmer. It's a little more orangey, so it just depends on what sort of undertone suits you, but this one's definitely like a warmer undertone, I would say. So we're going to do a quick break to sort of go through all the names. So along this bottom row we have Noble, Aisha, and Underage Red, then Bauhaus, Bow and Arrow, and Suspiria, and then Outlaw, Jeffrey, and the one I can't pronounce, Santa something. <laughs> so next we are going in with, oh, Lolita, which was a super, super popular color. I think I have Lolita 2 somewhere. Lolita 2 just doesn't really suit me. But um, yeah, this is Lolita. I know loads of people were crazy about this shade and I'm just gonna pop it right on there. Next up is Exorcism, which is another one I've been dying to try. So I'm excited to give it a go. This looks like a very sort of dark, purpley, mm, I wouldn't really know what colored class this is. I feel like it's in the like reddish purple family. Then this one is LUV. It's like a bright pinky purple. It's kind of like Bauhaus, but a bit different. And I will pop that right here. So very bright, very pretty. Again, not typically a color that I would like reach for, but I'm going to try to just so I can start playing around with makeup a bit more. Next up we have uh, Vampira or Vampira. Mmm, I've heard it said both ways and now I'm really paranoid that no matter what I do I'm gonna be saying it wrong, so, but you know what I mean. And uh, this is beautiful, I cannot wait to wear this. It's like a dark, dark, dark red, and its undertones are like a little bit pinky, like it's not pink, but you know, some very dark reds would have more of like a brown undertone, 
This has a bit more of a pink undertone. After that is Nosferatu, which is another gorgeous red that I've been dying to try and I'm so excited to have it. So we'll pop that right below here. So it's another very dark red, but a bit brighter than the one before and not so pink. After that, we're going in a completely different direction with a go, -Go which is like obnoxiously orange. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm gonna use this for, but I will find a reason. I'm gonna pop that right there. So as you can see, that is like orange. <laughs> Uh, after that is Echo, which is a nice dark, like, mostly blue. It might, like, sort of indigo, I guess. It has, like, a hint of purple, but it's mostly just a very dark blue, so we will pop that there. It's a little sheer, I have to say, going on. Even on the hand swatch, it goes on a bit sheer. I definitely think it'll require, like, a couple of coats on your lips to get it really, like, proper. And then finally, we have Double Dare. So this is like a nice like pinky, nudey kind of, I think this would be classified as a nude, I don't know, but it's like a nice pink color, like a muted pink. And it looks really, really pretty. That can go right there. Yeah, so this is Lolita. Then you have Exorcism right here. This one I think was LUV, if not, I'll correct myself on screen. Then Vampira, Nosferatu, a Go Go, Echo, and Double Dare. So that was all of the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks and after a quick falafel break, I am back. So now I'm going to get into the Studded Kiss Lipsticks. There's a whole bunch of those as well, so bear with me. So the, <laughs> the big problem I have with these is these lids suck, they just pop off. And so if you have like a big pile or if you like don't have the best makeup storage, these lids just come off and it's so annoying. But um, anyway, we'll get straight into swatching. This is the this version of Bauhaus. So there. Gosh, go more gentler. I'm gonna break this. So that is Bauhaus. Next up we have Slayer, which is black, and that can go right in under Bauhaus. This one is, oh Jesus, uh, L'Ecole de Fin. I don't know. It is like a pretty, pretty, like corally pink. Oh, I forgot how good these smell. Good God. <laughs> this one. I read the name of this wrong. This is called Wolf's Mouth. I read Whore's Mouth. Sorry. Uh, this can go right here. So that there is Wolf's Mouth. And that is kind of metallic. Like, not super metallic, but it definitely has, like, a sheen to it. And it's in, like, the sort of reddy, pinky, purpley kind of film. It's kind of hard to place it, but it's, like dark red but then it has almost purple sheen if that makes sense. This one is called Halo and this is another super freaking orange thing like look at it next to me. Mm, it's just it doesn't go with this look but yeah it oh it is very orange. This is the shade Homegirl and like this is a really pretty sort of dark brown purple type shade. I couldn't really tell you which one I think like more purple but it is almost sort of like browny like it's really pretty whatever it is and I'm excited to wear it. This is Adora and this is like a pretty red so let me give it oh this one's quite like sleek if that makes sense. I need to go more gentle I'm gonna break these. This one it's like it's like a metallic red. Adora is like a metallic red and it's like not a really super strong metallic but it's definitely there and it's very pretty. Uh, Archangel I'm gonna put that right below Adora. And this is like another red shade. This is like a very true red, I'd say. Maybe kind of like, I'd say it's like a warm undertoned, but very close to true red. If that makes sense, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not an expert with like colors and stuff. I'm just giving the best description I can. This is Wonder Child. And this is like super purple, really, really cute. I'm gonna pop that on here. Ooh. So this one's a little more sheer, but I think you could build it. And it's like another sort of like metallic-y, like it has like, you know, a sort of different sheen to it, which is pretty. And it's definitely in the purpley pink family. We have the color Poe, which is a very, very dark blue, I think. Let's have, yep. So it's like a nice midnight blue, super cute. Looks awful next to all these like oranges and reds, but on its own, it is a lovely color. Next up is the 
Stunna Kiss lipstick version of Underage Red, and that's going there right under Poe. Woo! This is like a bright, 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 slightly pinky colored red. You can kind of see it next to Archangel there. It is definitely brighter. This is the shade Coven, and it is like a pretty, like pale, pale purple. So that's going right here. My hand smells so good. So yeah, you can see it's like a really pale, like lilac-y lavender color, and it's so nice. I actually have this one somewhere else, and it's like, it feels really lovely on, it smells super good. But let's have a look. If you go back in the video, you'll be able to figure out what all the colors are. I did not keep track, but yeah. Next is Thin Lizzy, and this looks like a sort of brownie pinky nude color. And that's going up here. Ooh, would that be a nude? I don't know. Hmm, I don't really know how to describe that color. It's kind of like a brownish, pinkish, reddish color with like gold flecks through it. Uh, this is called Solo and it's another very, very orange lipstick. I'll pop that right there. Oh, that one goes on really nicely. It's very like sleek, but still very opaque. I mean, again, I'm not much of an orange person, but I think when I'm reaching for an orange, I might go for this one. This is Motorhead. Ooh, this looks pretty. So that's going down right here. So this is like a very, like a dark magenta-ish purple, I would say. I'm sure all of this is wrong. It's my best description. It's pretty. This is Agatha, and this is like a very pale, like, I, f I can imagine this would be called a nude, but it's like almost like a very pale peachy color. So you can sort of barely see it on my hand there, but it looks really nice. I don't know how well it'll work with my skin on my lips, but I really want to try it because it looks like the kind of color I'd like, so we'll see. Uh, this is the color Chula, and this looks like a kind of like brick red. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'd categorize that as like brick red. It's like, you know, that kind of like orangey deep color. So this is the shade Hexagram, and it looks like another red shade. I can never have too many red lipsticks. Yep, just a pretty straightforward red, I would say. This is the color Countess, and this looks like pretty orange, but let's see. It's kind of hard to place that color. It's somewhere between like a neon orange and a red, basically. It's like kind of directly in the middle, I would say. It is a crazy bright color. Next up, I have the lipstick version, or the Soda Kiss version of Egogo, which as we know is very, very orange. So that's going right down below there. This is the color Prayer, which looks really pretty. It's like sort of mm, like a brownie, purpley kind of color. Next up is the shade Gothica. Ooh, this is glittery. Uh, so this is like a browny, not quite, I wouldn't call this a nude, like browny orangey shade with a lot of gold glitter in it by the looks of it. So let's give a quick swatch. And that's going right next to Countess at the top there. And you can kind of see how shiny that is. This is PF. I believe Poe and PF are two of her cats, if I'm not mistaken. This looks like a really pretty color. It's definitely like a sort of warm brownish grayish color. Here we go, that is lovely. This one is called Neon, I think. I don't know what the reference to that is. And this looks like a glittery black. So, or maybe even like a gunmetal kind of color. No, no, glittery black. Definitely glittery black, I would say. So let's do a quick close up. So next up is the color Plan 9, and this is a really nice, unique color. It's this really pretty, like, I would describe this as like Slytherin green, you know? And if anyone is new here, I'm not a Slytherin, I'm a Hufflepuff, and proud of it. But I do enjoy the Slytherin green color nonetheless, and that is very pretty. Again, it's one of those ones that's like, it's not metallic, but it definitely has that kind of like shine off of it, if you know what I mean. Next up is Mercy. Uh, this is like quite a glittery looking color just from looking at it here. And again, it's in that sort of like reddish, purplish, brownish family. And I'll put that under plan nine. Totally should have been called Slytherin. Uh, there we go. 
And then the last full sized one, because I have a whole bunch of mini study kisses here. I don't know if I have any different shades, I'll check right now. But the last full size one is the pretty white one and that is gold blooded. So this can go right here. And it is a bright, bright red with gold glitter flex. Okay, there are different colors in the minis. So this one is called Sexer and it is oh so very pink. Here we go. Pop that right here. Like that is pink. Again, the camera really isn't doing it justice. It really is like a neon, neon pink. Very intense, very pretty though. This is called Magic and this is a sort of like nudie brownie pink going on right there. That's actually very cute. So this is another one and this is called Bachelorette. And that can go right there. And that's somewhere in between a bright pink and a red. I think it leans more towards red, but it definitely is quite pinky. Okay, and the rest of the minis were ones that we already have full size ones of that we swatched. So let's just do the close up. Okay, so that's all the Kat Von D lipsticks. Maybe not. So I have one Jeffree Star lipstick here, and this is Drug Lord. So that is the pure, pure, pure white one. I was surprised at how, like, it's, it's not as streaky as I expected. Like, it's white, so it is a little bit streaky, but it's not nearly as streaky or, like, chalky as I expected a white to be. I don't know if I'll ever wear this on its own, just, like, straight up, but I am definitely going to use this for mixing colours, because I know it's good for that. So yeah, there's just a very, very white liquid lipstick. So next up I have two from Makeup Geek and they're both like very similar colored but I think they're different formulas. So I have the plush creme and the plush matte. Uh, the creme is in Socialite and the matte is in Misfit. So I will swatch them first. So this right here is Socialite. I wore one of these the other day. I don't remember which one but I remember loving it. It's such a pretty like grayish, purplish, brownish color. You know that like really popular color at the moment. So, and then this is Misfit. So I will pop that on just below there. I'd say Misfit is a little more gray than brown, if you can see. I have one lipstick from Necromancy Cosmetics, which I was really excited about because I haven't tried anything from them yet. I keep meaning to, and I just haven't got around to it, and there's so much I want to try. So I have this one purple lipstick, and it is called Purple Hex. And I'm gonna pop that on next to Drug Lord here. Ooh, it's a wee bit stiff. There we go. It's like one of those ones where like, when you first sort of swipe, it's a bit stiff, but once it heats up with your body heat, it goes nice and smooth. So not a worry there. And it is just a very pretty purple. And then I have two of these, I believe, bleh, believe these are called Lip Ammunition and they're from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. So I love my contour palettes from them and it's just it's perfect, but I've never tried the lipsticks. So these are in the color, this is Calabaza. And I'll pop that there goes on nice and smooth. It's quite a like, um, not like glossy, like it's whatever the opposite of matte is. It's like one of those kind of sheens to it. And then this one is Lacrimosa. I love that word. And this, I think this one is kind of intended to like maybe go over other colors or something because it's like very sheer, but then it has like this wonderful glitter like sheen to it. So I'm excited to experiment with that because it's really like pretty glitter. It smells like Play-Doh or something. It smells like something from my childhood that I used to play with like in that realm. <laughs> Next up are two lipsticks and it, uh, oh, it yes, okay. So these are from Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. I thought so, but I couldn't see it on there and I was afraid I was wrong. And these are in the colors Jupiter and Vamp. So let me just quickly pop those on. I've never used Pretty Zombie Cosmetics before, so this is quite exciting. So this is Jupiter. That goes on really, really nicely. I'm excited to play with these. And it's like a really pretty, like, kind of tealish green, if you know what I mean. So like, it's like, it has a hint of blue, but it's definitely more green. And then this is Vamp. And I'll just go right below. Ooh. It's like very liquidy, but very opaque, which is nice. And then this is from... It doesn't say who this is from, but I think, 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 think this is from Shiro Cosmetics. I hope I'm right. It's called Red Wedding, which I believe is inspired by Game of Thrones, which I have not watched yet. I would if it was on Netflix. Like, if it was more convenient, I would watch it, but I can't be bothered to, like, seek it out. But I will eventually someday watch it, I promise. But yeah, this is called Red Wedding, and I'm going to put that down below a vamp. Oh! Oh, I wonder what kind of lipstick this is. It doesn't feel like a liquid to matte. This feels like a gloss. But it's pretty. 
That like legit looks like blood. Like, you know, sort of like the way blood, if you like, you know, if you, you're bleeding and you spread it out, you kind of get that like almost orangey quality from like whatever's in it. It kind of looks like that. So let's do a close up. So that like really glossy one on the end, do you see it? Like it looks like blood and that makes me far happier than it should. Next up I have two, I think these are little samples from Shiro Cosmetics of lipsticks. I kind of don't want to open these and swatch them because they're messy and I just tried to open one and it all like, like threatened to come pouring out. I was like, <gasps> but you, you can see the colours through here anyway. And I mostly just wanted to show these for the names. So this like, like the bright red one is called Nick Cage posing for a calendar with shiny bright red stars. And the other one is Nick Cage nibbling petite fours in a posh Victorian tea room. Why? Next up are some ColourPop lipsticks, which I've never tried. I haven't really tried any ColourPop. And they're in the colours Hotline and Raw. Hotline is Matte X and Raw is Satin. So, ooh, okay. We'll just go in. So this is Hotline. Oh, wow. That is like slick. Is that the, and that's the matte as well. It goes on like butter, like, ooh, that was nice. And then this is, what was it, raw. Um, yeah. Nice. Next up is two of the Manic Panic uh, Lethal Lips. I think these are glosses. So I don't see anything on here that tells you what the shade is, so I'm sorry about that. But we have a green color, which is pretty. And I love the little bottles for these. I don't know if I showed that there. Like, oh, they're fucking cute. And then the other, oh yeah, again, I can't see a name, but it is the black one. So I'm sure you could find these on Manic Panic's website if you tried, assuming these are still being sold. Hmm, they smell minty. They remind me of the um, OCC lip tars, kind of, with the smell, which I have a bunch of here that we'll get to in a moment. <gasps> Next up are two lip type things from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs again, uh, but they are different. And one is called London Bridge, and it's this pretty looking purple. So I will just pop that over here, I suppose. Ooh. And that also smells minty. What's it with all these minty things? I mean, I'm not complaining, it's just, it's odd. <laughs> and then the other one is in the color Tinted Temptress, and it's Pretty. It's like dark, 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 purpley color. I also have a Manic Panic Glamination lipstick, I guess, and it's in the color Cobweb. Ooh! And it's like white, but it has like some sort of shimmer, so let me see. Oh, so this must be one that you use over the top, because it's gonna be hard for you guys to see this. I imagine you use this over the top of other lip colors, because it is like if you kind of view it directly, it's not there at all, but then when the, I'm sorry, I'm like going off screen, but then when the light hits it, it's like pretty like purplish, bluish iridescence. That is so cool. Do you see? I'll have to do a little close up. So just before the close up, one last thing here, and this is Walk of Shame Ultra Nourishing Gloss. Well, the color is Walk of Shame. It's the ultra, ultra nourishing gloss in the Naked range from Urban Decay. The color is Walk of Shame. Ooh, glossy, and I will just kind of put that here, I guess. I mean, you're not going to see much of it, it's a gloss, but there we go. So you can see that cobweb up there now, isn't that cool? Next up, I have a little, like, lip balm from Lush in the colour Sugar Plum, the Sugar Cup. <laughs> Sugar Plum Fairy. And it's a pretty purple, and I'm just gonna swatch that and move on. So it's just like a little lip balm, so it's just, it's more tinted than coloured, but it looks pretty. Oh, and it smells pretty too, and I just got it on my Pearsons. And then this is a little lip balm type thing that I believe, again, it's from Shiro Cosmetics, but it doesn't say, and it's called A Girl and a Cat, and it has a little picture of Gigi from um, Kiki Slurry Service on it, and that makes me happy. Oh, where do you see this? Oh, it's very sheer, so it is just like a lip balm, but it's like a pretty purple and like it looks really dark on here, but then it just comes out as like a nice kind of purple sheen. I'm excited to use that. This would be fine if I had something to lean against, but like the way I'm sitting on my bed is killing my back right now. Woo! Lip tars. I have the OCC Lip Tar Primer, which is good because I've never had this before and I'm excited to see how this helps with putting them on because the lip tars have always been a bit tricky to me, so 
we've got the primer. Now for the actual colours, uh, we have one called Strange and Unusual, that makes me happy. I love little gothy references. I really like that they updated their packaging, because the last time I got a lip tar it still came in a squeezy tube, and that was like very difficult to work with. This is much better, and that is pretty. And again, they have that pretty minty smell, which is nice. This is the colour John Doe, and this is a very strange colour. I'm excited to try this on my lips, because... Whoa! Is this a normal lip tar? Did the bottle break? Good god, this is like leaking everywhere, like loads came out. I feel like maybe the bottle broke or it didn't have a topper or something. Mmm, so much. Um, so yeah, here we go. It's like a very pale, like, muddy, just very, very pale brown. It's a strange colour. So yeah, I feel like that'll look very odd on the lips, but I am, I'm excited to try it. This is the colour Blackboard, and it is like a pretty green looking one. And I see like the last one it didn't seem to have this little bit that you know like like you know takes off the excess so like it just went everywhere. Um I don't know if that was just the way the ball is designed or if it like broke and came off with the wand, but anyway, this is blackboard. Ooh I like that. This is RX, I think. And it's like super blue. Pretty. Then we have Lux, which is like, it looks like a sort of like a purple colour, so, yep. Yeah. It's not super different, it's strange and unusual. This one's a little more sheer than the other ones I've swatched so far. We have Flesh World, mm. and that's going to go right here. It's like a sort of like terracotta pinkyish colour, I would say. And then the last one of these is in the colour Lush. I will just pop that kind of along the bottom there. Lovely. And this is the colours. Okay, you think just sitting around and showing makeup would be easy, but I am knackered. People don't realise how much energy goes into this. So, alright. Eyelashes. I have a few. So this is from the Disney Maleficent range and it's just a pair of pretty fluttery eyelashes. Next up is a pair of Makeup Forever eyelashes and they're kind of like spiky and actually purple if you can see. These are just very very subtle ones from MAC. I, I've never had these before so I don't know if these have a name but they're just like a really subtle pair of lashes. There is these ones from the Simpsons set, if I turn it that way you can see them. They're just pretty standard, sort of like spiky eyelashes there. And then a whole bunch of little single eyelashes, which I've never tried to use before, so I'm excited to see how that goes. <laughs> I have a teeny tiny little pot here of uh, translucent setting powder from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. It's just little, so I'm probably going to use this for like under my eyes and stuff, but I've heard this is really good. Um, Apparently it's also a little bit open. Next up I have a bunch of sugar pill eyeshadows, which is always exciting because I love sugar pills so much. So the first one is this cute little one here called The Inventor, and I'll just pop that open. And it kind of looks like a dark silver colour. I guess I will swatch these as well. Yeah, so it's like a sort of like gunmetal grey silver colour I would say, and it's really pretty. Next up is from the Cold Chemistry collection, and it's Diamond Eyes, which is a very shimmery looking white that just looks Oh, so pretty. So let me just pop it right here. Bam. So that'll probably be more apparent in the close-up, but I think you can see it there. It is like a very shimmery white, which is always good to have. Next up is one called Suburbia from the Addicted to Pretty line. Definitely not really my kind of colour, but again, I will try to find a use for it. And you know, like if there's anything that I have here that I think I will genuinely really never ever use, I'll probably, you know, pass it on to a friend keep the flow going. But this is Suburbia and it's like an orangey colour. You can kind of see it there, it's like quite pale. Next up is another one from Cold Chemistry and it's called Subterranean, I think. And it's like, it, like you can see it, it's very very dark but it has like that green sheen to it. So I will pop that on. Ooh! Uh, that can go there. That is pigmented and it's pretty. Ooh! Next up is... Mochi, and I actually had this colour somewhere, and then it's in the depths of my makeup collection somewhere, but it's like a pretty, like, pale bluish-green colour. It's really, really nice, and I will pop it right there. You can kind of see 
I feel like this would probably need a primer underneath it to like really pop, but it is decent. This is the color Suit and Stars, and this looks like another, ooh! So this is like a dark gray, it's kind of like that other dark gray silver gunmetal area, but it has like kind of rainbow shimmer through it instead of just like normal glitter shimmer, so, ooh, that's quite rough. Yeah. Oh, okay, so like, holy crap, and... Okay, and then I have two more. This one is called Frostine, and it's like a very cute, like lilac-y color, which you can barely see with my lights, but that's fine. Goes on really, really pigmented. I will pop it just kind of here. It's very, very pale and very, very pretty. And then we have Ice Angel, which is, it's looking to be like a white with that sort of blue iridescence. So I will, Pop that on just below here. This is so awkward. <laughs> okay, so let's do the close up. So the top one there is like the purple one I mentioned, and the bottom one is Ice Angel. And then, of course, that's all the other shades there. Next up, it's a little palette from uh, Urban Decay. I cannot figure out what the name of this palette is. And uh, those are the colors. I'm not going to swatch all of them, I don't think, because you can kind of see there what they're like. They're not wildly exciting, but there are some nice little shades in there. I have two of the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Black Velvet. I will do a quick little swatch. There. Woo! Yep, that's a really, really nice pencil, and I'm pretty sure that's meant to like, stay on your waterline all freaking day which is what you want, so good to have. I like having doubles of things because it means then I can have one like in my makeup here and then one in my bag so that if I need it when I'm out like and I don't remember to bring it, it's there, you know? So doubles make me happy. Then glitters, Urban Decay glitters. This is Amp, blue and glittery and pretty. Actually, do you know, I don't really know if these are gonna be worth swatching because they're not super, like, I'll show you. Like, they're kind of going to show up like that. So I think I'll just show you the tubes. So this is the the shade Amp, and it's like super pretty blue. This is ACDC, which is a very nice purple. And these are the heavy metal glitter eyeliners, by the way. This is the shade Spandex, which is like a darker sort of turquoisey tealy blue compared to the other one. This is Distortion, and it's so pretty. It just looks like mermaids and fairies to me. This is Gunmetal. Exactly what it says on the tin. It's like a very dark black silver gunmetal grey sort of shimmer. This is Glam Rock and it is just straight up silver glitter. Junk Show, which is like a bright pink sort of colour, like magenta I guess. Pink? Is that the right word? Pink. And then Midnight Cowboy, which is pretty and gold. We're down to the last handful of things. We can do this! Oh, So, I have three of these Lunatic Cosmetic Labs eyeshadow palettes. And they're actually the three that I don't have because I have another one of these. I don't know how many they have, but I have another one of these um, somewhere around here anyway. And it's not a duplicate of any of these, so that's cool. Someone thought these were all the same. They're not. They just have the same packaging and in different colours. So I will start with this one, and this is called... This is the Hoka, uh, Hoka? Hocus Pocus eyeshadow palette. And these are the colours. So you can kind of see. They're not like hyper 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 pigmented on their own but I feel like they'd be very good for blending and if you wanted them to be more like intense you would use a primer below them but you know. Next up is the Relic eyeshadow palette and oh this one is all sort of like bronze and golds and coppers something in that realm so let me do a co oh so these ones oh are much more pig pigmented. I uh, will do this sort of color and maybe this one. So you can see here, those, like that top one went on like butter. So yeah, those are all sort of like earthy tones, which is very pretty. And then the last one is the Zombie Defense eyeshadow palette. That makes me happy, I love zombie stuff. And these are the colors here. So quite an interesting mix. And that's what they look like. So that top one's the sort of like shimmery reddish color. Okay, getting into the last stuff. So I have something from Medusa's, make Medusa's makeup here, and this is a uh, glitter adhesive. I think it's called the Fix. From it's a little bit worn, uh, but yeah, it's glitter adhesive, which makes me happy because I've been really, really love. Well, for a while I was really loving glitter, but then it was just 
I think, I don't know, I just start growing a bit, but I'm going to get back into it because now I have glitter adhesive and I'm happy about that. So this is from Medusa's Makeup. I'm excited to try that out. I have another thing from Medusa's Makeup and this is eyeshadow and it's Electro Red. And this is what it looks like. It's very glittery. I will do a quick little swatch. It's like a very pinky red. A pure pigment from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and it's just in the colour black. I'm not going to open this and swatch it because it's it's loose pigment and I just know that I will cause it to explode everywhere and make a huge mess. And I can't deal with that. <laughs> I'm so bad with loose pigments. I make a hard mess. It's awful. But it's, it's a black pigment, you know? And then the last things, guys. The last things are two eyeshadows from Colourpop. These are called... These are called Super Shock Pressed Pigments. I have two of these and then we're done. I literally can't for the life of me open these. So I'm just gonna show them to you. This is what they look like. So we've got a green and a yellow and they're both shimmery. They look very pretty, but I can't, I can't get them open, so. But they look very nice anyway. I have nothing left to say. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to check out my Patreon if you can, because it's super, super helpful for keeping this channel going. And consider checking out Metalast Gaming if you haven't already. If you've been like wanting to try it out but you haven't really known where to start, or even if you haven't wanted to try it out, just, just do one thing for me. Just trust me. I am going to link one of the best of the month videos down below, and that's where it's just like the, sort of the funniest moments from each month. I'm going to link one of those below. Watch like a couple of minutes of that, and if that doesn't sell you on Metalast Gaming, then you don't have you don't have to bother with it. But it is super fun, and I think you should check it out. Oh, so. Like, comment, and subscribe. Pray for me and my back. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, lovelies!